It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and still in Bonita folks uh, going over the pool planters. This was probably the first major pool planter installation that I ever did and it just set me on the path. This is the solution around pools do succulents but you can see that these these aeonium kiwi I mean, the whole thing is tired so we'll be pulling a lot of these plants out cutting them up and resetting them also we are going to come back on another day with rock i got cra went crazy here with rock top dressings um did some of the best rock work i've ever done at this property and you you'll see that we have a lot of different types of rock i think i have five or six different varieties in this bed here alone and i want to make sure that we are very very tight in refreshing this rock so this bed holy moly i don't even know i mean obviously it's an aloe and it looks it looks feroxy but it's so blue you know i don't know what it is uh it is absolutely gorgeous we've got some stunning agaves in this bed we've got this beautiful ferox that is growing straight and tall this Pacopodium lamerii with the aloe distance. distance at the base of it. This is a great combo. Pacopodium lamerii, aloe distance. I just love, I love that. And look at how this blue elf is growing around this agave. This, and then this sunset jade. I mean, this I'm gonna have to think about because from a design standpoint, I don't know that I hate this. I don't really, but am I going to love it a year from now when I come back? So I'll make decisions about that on the fly. This Kalanchoe Orgialis, or Copper Spoons, has done so well here in this bed. It looks so good against these bricks. I just can't even with that. This would be a really fun pool to fall into. It is... Ooh, it's very, very warm. Uh, okay, we had some issues with aloe mite in this garden a couple of years ago. So when I come every year now, I treat with a systemic three-in-one prophylactically to help keep any more infestations from even occurring. Um, once again, this bed has kind of lost its luster. It just looks kind of hodgepodgey and run amucky and it doesn't really you know, I don't even know, I don't even know. So we're gonna be digging a lot of this out too, cutting things up for parts and resetting. My client is not a huge fan of this Crassula. And you know what? I am not either. I've got it planted in about four different places around this property and I don't, I don't even know what it's called because I haven't used, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it looked good when it was little it's hideous. I, I just think it's very, very run amucky. Um, I don't like it. She doesn't like it. So these are going to be coming out and we will figure out something else to do in these spots. So Hannah tightened up these beds by, again, digging out a lot of the plants, cutting them up for parts, resetting them, just kind of bringing everything back down to heel. Now she's going to come in next week with more rock. Uh, and touch up all of the areas that are in need of fresh top dressing. And then these will absolutely pop. Uh, these were the planters that had those crassulas in them that we did not care for at all and the client didn't like. Hannah replaced them with some aloe vera, some undulata, and a little bit of crassula argentia sunset. 100% better. This one, same thing, you know, just taking some plants and shrinking them down a little bit by pulling them out of the ground, cutting them up and resetting them. Um, what we ended up doing in here, oh God, this is just so, oh, so gorgeous, is we took the Crassula Argentia and dug it up, cut it and reset it. So it's a little lower profile in the bed. That's really all we had to do in here. This installation has pretty much been unmanipulated, if that's a word, uh, for the four years or so that it's been here. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Uh, again, Hannah will come in and refresh the rock, but 
If you have a question about what to plant around your pools, this stuff right here, folks. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Benita, California with Hannah and Amy and your succulent poolside tip of the day. <laughs>